Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. Monthly Tower reading, December 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle uh, the tarot cards. And uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month, uh, Virgo, is going to be the Six of Swords, followed by the, by the next one which represents the challenges uh, that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Princess of Cups, or in other words, the Page of Cups, that is represented in the traditional deck. The third card here represents the intentions uh, that uh, you will have to, you should incorporate throughout the month or the best way how you can tackle with the endeavors throughout the month. That is going to be the, the full card. Followed by the fourth one, which stands for the um, lesson that you are to learn. Oh, wow, that is going to be a very strong month for you guys. Uh, we do have the devil card. And the last one, which stands for the uh, energies that are to help you, uh, that is going to be the Ace of Wands. So there is no doubt in my mind, looking at those cards, that we are talking about a um, walking away and therefore starting a making a, a new beginning for yourself. Walking away from a thing that have never been about you, all right? It was always been about something or, in this case, someone else. But before we go into that, we are going to learn, uh, we are going to dive into the cards one by one. So Six of Swords, which is the topic, is going to be accompanied with the uh, King of Pentacles, Knights of Pentacles, but uh, it's represented by the King of Pentacles in the traditional deck. So those two cards are a active enemies and it looks like that uh, they're just pointing uh, that what you have fought for up until this moment in the specific field of your life, of course, not into your entire life, uh, it turns out not to be the thing you want it to be, okay? Or in other words, you uh, understand that you are doing way too much for what you are getting, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Simply, you are investing in it and there is a very little in return. And for one or another reason, it looks like that you have found it up until this moment uh, difficult to detach. And I can understand, you know, it's no different than when you invest into something so much and you hope that there will be return in it and you don't want to walk away because everything that you have invested is going to appear as a loss, as a waste, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, here in the month of December, um, this thing is going to just take the cake and um, you finally are going to, how can I say it, um, determine yourself, if you will, to just, you know, departure. And uh, this departuring is going to be um, 
difficult from another uh, from another standpoint for you it is because it's going to be a departure in through toward the unknown well you can take it that way that this month is will call for you to uh do some brave actions to improve your circumstances and those brave actions will involve you parting ways with a specific individual either career-wise or either relationship-wise, walking seemingly toward the unknown. So the threshold you have to traverse, it appears to be a threshold toward the unknown. And that may petrify you by fear, all right? But in reality, if you think about it, um, everything is better than this, okay? So what, in whatever situation, you know, you are feeling like... Uh, kind of like that nothing is happening this is exactly where those two cards are gonna hit and uh, simply you're going to abandon that situation for what it seems so the challenge uh, is going to be the princess of uh, cups which is that person we're talking about that you're walking away from and it is catalyzed by the strength card so the challenge uh, first of all these are a um passive enemies and what the challenge is it is that this person is going to demand logical explanation for you why you are doing this to them it's kind of like making themselves the victim okay and the challenge is going to be you not to give an explanation just you know allow your actions to speak louder than words that is coming from the strength card the strength card is really overcoming the challenge of the page of cups now the page of cups it's very emotional type of person they feel very miserable when not emotionally related with someone or something but that doesn't mean that they love them all right uh, the page um, it's such kind of an individual where they want to be for example in a relationship it doesn't matter if that relationship has any foundation or not they just cannot be alone that's the whole point of it and uh, it's very likely that throughout this month uh, you are to understand or finally acknowledge to yourself that uh, this isn't what you want and for that reason um, kind of like you are to basically how can I say it break it if you will, uh, that that doesn't has to be a, a, a relationship, all right? It could be friendship as well. But the thing is that whatever doesn't work out once again into your life, that involves a specific individual who um, has an emotional connection to you is going to end. And then another thing follows, a new beginning. But we're going to get into this into a in a minute now. So, uh, Another thing is, is that, that that person here with those two cards, they will try to convince you that they will change. And uh, while this is possible for them to change, it will take so much time. It is because uh, they don't see what is wrong. I, I mean, they are not acknowledging that the, that the fault is in within them, okay? They think that the fault is in, in the time, uh, in the circumstances, in you maybe, but not in them. And for them to change, they need to reassess themselves. They need to change their position, reassess their positions as well. And that will be challenging for them and for you as well. So the easy way out it is for you to just walk away. And the other card, which is intentional or the intentions or how you should take on all that, it is the four. Look at that, accompanied with the start. And th those two cards are saying only one thing. Your intention should be moving toward a new beginning, all right? Moving toward a new goal, new perspective, finding your unfolding love, if you will, finding your long-term fulcrum. Uh, another example here is that let's say uh, say you are in a relationship, but that relationship never can uh, transform into engagement or a marriage. You understand that, you know that, and it's time for you to make those drastic measures to break that relationship and go for the new one that is going to present you with what you want. So th those are the intentions here, guys, to go for the newness, to go for the new beginning, the new job, the new relationship, the new friendship circle, all right? It's just give expressions to your ideas. And as we said, in this endeavor that you will have to break a severed ties with, your ideas does not match with the ideas of the other person that stands from the other side of the endeavor. And that has to end. You need to find, once again, 
your representative of unfolding love as well, uh, unconditional support, if you will. You need to keep your ideals high. That's, uh, that's my point. And whatever does not fit into your ideas and your ideals, excuse me, simply has to go because your, your ideals are exactly the things that you need to follow intentional uh, intentional wise. And those two cards as well call for detachment in the sense of that, uh, you know, you got to move toward things that makes you happy and not miserable. Uh, so if your uh, career makes you miserable, well, then it's obvious what you need to sever ties with. If your relationship is makes you it makes you miserable, same thing goes there. If a certain friendship makes you miserable, same thing goes there and so on and so forth. Now, the other card here points to the lesson that you need to learn. That will be the devil card and it is accompanied with the five of pentacles. We do have a passive supporters into this position and uh, it's uh, pretty simple, okay? Everything f fix itself by feeding the, um, the yearnings of one's souls. So you are gonna learn how to satisfy your insatiable hunger for love, if you will, for um, uh, monetary success, if you will, you know, for relationships, if you will. So it's kind of like you're going to learn to identify and as well go for these things that makes you feel whole, okay? Because this is what the devil is all about L uh, when it comes to lesson. Learning how to satisfy yourself, not the others, but yourself. Okay. I mean, that person, Page of Cups, it could be a, a very good guy or a girl. Okay, They may not deserve it, but simply they're not the hunger of, of your soul. Okay, And as such, it is just torment for you and for them as well, being in the same thing that doesn't simply work out. So uh, you're going to learn once again to answer the call of the, insati the insatiable hunger your soul have for love, for money, you know, for relationships, for friendships as well. The Five of Pentacles here for to the Devil card, it only points that, um, you know, uh, this hunger appears exactly in those kind of uh, enterprises where there is an insecurity into, and as they are insecure, this is where your hunger does not lie. They are insecure, you are finding them insecure because it is not what your soul needs right now. Uh, the other thing that you're going to learn is how to oppress uh, your presence and your domination as well. But you have to be very careful with this thing because that gives you power, guys. You're going to learn how to make use of your power and people get intoxicated by power. You don't want to have that, all right, because you can misuse it and that will backlash on you. And the last card here represents the uh, energies which are to support you. That will be, look at that, guys, that will be the Ace of Wands with the uh, Knight of Wands, which is represented by the King of Wands in the traditional deck. And those energies, well, they simply going to feed up your ambition. You are going to be feeding up on your ambition of, um, once again, lucrivity, um, progress career-wise, uh, love as well if you are seeking for love. And those energies will help you find the gaining for enterprise, which is going to um, convert your uh, ambitions into a, a very powerful drive. So it's time, I think, Virgo, to liberate yourself for, from things that are sloggy, uh, does not work really the way you want, and substitute them with new beginnings that will um, satisfy the hunger you have for whatever are going to make you feel whole. So that being said, Virgo, this was your monthly tower reading, December 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.